Hello everyone, I'm Brahm Mithra. I'm back home from Gen Con. Uh, this is going to be a first hero demo video. There was a first hero demo at the Gen Con booth. I recorded it. Gen Con's a very busy place. Gen Con is, uh, there's not much room in the Kingdom Death booth. Kingdom Death booth is very busy. Even, it's, even where the table was where they're demoing first hero, it's either you get into the middle, where behind where uh, I stood to record from, so I'm you won't see me on camera because my camera took the place. My camera and tripod will take my place at the table. So um, when we played First Hero, it's it's if you went to Gen Con, you'll see that they had Crimson Croc there and they had a lion for their two demos. But randomly, every couple hours or so, maybe you would see First Hero pop up on the demo table. Um, I had heard about this. I had asked Poots if I could record one of these. He gave me a time. He told me that we need to find some experienced players. If you could get yourself four players so we could cut down the demo time who know how to play Kingdom Death so we don't have to explain how to play Kingdom Death. So that's what I did. I spent time. I got four players. So in this demo, again, my recording, my camera takes my spot at the table. So you'll get a nice view of the table and everything as, as well as, you know, the everyone who's playing and things that happen behind them, and boy is it worth where I put the camera view. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even notice what happened, but you'll see in the camera view, very fortuitous that the camera was where it was. Uh, and again, I only have two, I had two wireless mics, so I, I wore a, wire, a wireless mic, and then the, the Team Death member who's running First Hero uh, generously wore a mic. Now, this was because I was expecting to only do, you know, interviews with me and someone else, so I only needed the two mics, that's what I brought. Unfortunately, or well, fortunately, <laughs> tons of situations arose where it would have been helpful to have multiple mics. Uh, but I just didn't do that. This first time ever going to Gen Con, first time making videos and doing interviews and live and all that stuff, but fortunately, I also knew that, hey, I'm not going to rely just on my, my wireless mics and my, you know, I'm going to have a, so my camera... I do still have a boom attached to it, uh, a camera mounted boom mic. So that audio will still be in this video as well, as well as the, the mic videos, and all, or the um, presenter's mic and all that stuff. So it's not the best quality one, but you will get to hear all the banter at the table and everything. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep it low because it's, again, that boom mic's picking up every people walking behind and people talking outside of the game session. But again, the presenter is super clear, so that's the best part, thankfully. Uh, thank you to Team Death for wearing the the, uh, the mic, and thank you for Poots for letting me record a first hero. So, again, I was tasked with finding four players, or three other players, so we could cut down on the presenter having to teach Kingdom Death. So, in this video, you will see members from Lantern's Reign, who were at Gen Con, who when I said, look, I need them looking for three players. So, we had uh, PhD, ADAD, or <laughs> PhD, ADD who is a mod from Lantern's Reign. Here's Instagram. But, uh, I also played with Mumford from Lantern's Reign. Here's Instagram. But, uh, all these, for Instagram links and all them, the two of them, they'll be in the description. Their Instagrams are great. Uh, they actually won stuff at Gen Con, won ribbons. So, painting Kingdom Death minis, painting board game minis, those two are great. And I also played with, uh, Pizzagram, who decided to buy everything at the Kingdom Death booth, apparently. So Pizzagram from uh, Lantern's Reign as well. So those will be the three or the, the three other players that are with me. The camera will be facing uh, Mumford to the left and Pizzagram to the right. And there are some other surprise appearances that happened in the, in the uh, thing as well. So thank you so much. This is the first video of three that I recorded at Gen Con. So this one is... Just easy to get out. It's very self-explanatory. Let me just quickly go into First Hero, what it is for this intro, so everyone understands. Here's First Hero. Again, the presenter will also explain this. I just wanted to do this intro. So First Hero is something that I've been really waiting for for a long time. The First Hero expansion is the player, you'll take the role of four survivors who come across a settlement and they are going to defeat that settlement's first hero. And when they defeat that, you will take over that settlement. This is a way for you to jump forward to Lantern Year 12 or Lantern Year 20 of the Kingdom Death campaign. Now, I will show pictures and everything taken by um, the members, some who play with me, some other members from Lantern Terrain Discord and all that stuff, because of my camera was being used to record at the time, so I couldn't take like extra things. And since this is 
a thing they wanted to put away, like right away since they were done, they don't want to leave it out. Uh, I didn't have time to capture like extra B-roll and use my actual camera to uh, take pictures of the board and everything because my camera was being used to film at the time. So, thank you so much. Enjoy uh, the first hero thing. Clues to, to listen to and look forward to are the, the, you can hear it in the fight, listen to the mechanics for um, like hit location cards. And again, you're building a settlement. So the mechanics you want to look out for are, you'll hear them in throughout the fight is, you'll see how this fight builds a new settlement for your jump, for when you jump for your time skip to 12 or 20. So thank you so much. More videos to come. First things first, thank you guys for joining me. Welcome to the Kingdom Death booth here at Gen Con. Yeah, thank you. Uh, my name is Matt. I'm a member of Team Death, and I'll be running the Crimson Crocodile demo for you today. Awesome. Hi. I'm sure it looks a little bit different than what you were expecting, but that's OK. We'll consider this sort of a peek into the future. Uh, we already covered that. Sounds like everyone here already uh, has had some experience with Kingdom Death, but for those of you that have developed sun onset amnesia, I'm just going to give you the spiel again real quick, which is to say, Kingdom Death Monster is a cooperative tabletop RPG hybrid set in a nightmare horror universe. Essentially what that means is that you are there uh, trying to eke out uh, the survival of a settlement of survivors uh, in a world where everything is a lot bigger, badder, stronger, uh, and faster than you, and finds you to be a delicious you know, little nugget. For now though, uh, what you might see uh, in front of you that what we are dealing with today is not uh, something that has the sort of characteristic monstrousness of our usual miniatures, and that is because today we will be facing off against the first hero. The first hero is an upcoming expansion uh, in Kingdom Death, and it's sort of our answer to um, the uh, sort of requests by our players to um, be able to fast track a campaign. Now, we understand that uh, Kingdom Death can be a heavy time commitment. It is a campaign game after all. You're playing through you know, maybe a dozen sessions, and you wouldn't even be halfway through with a campaign. For those that you know, might not have the time to commit to, say, uh, playing through 10 Lantern Years, but they want to experience some of the content that you can only experience during the end game or the mid game, that is what the first hero is for. The idea of the first hero is this is a monster that you can fight uh, in order to take over an existing settlement that's either in Lantern Year 12 or Lantern Year 20, and from there you can pick up right there and play as if you know as if you had started from Lantern Year One. Narratively, uh, we are joined today by four veteran survivors. Uh, if you haven't uh, done so, now would be a good opportunity to name your survivors. Done. We've all done. Awesome. Let's uh, let's hear some names. Uh, this is this here is Ellie Trebut. Awesome. Pizza <laughs> uh, Great. Brahmithra. PhD. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> well, we have a motley crew today. Uh, apologies if I don't uh, end up remembering the names of your survivors. Uh, How about good. this? If they survive, then I'll remember. If they don't, then well, I won't be using those names anyways. Cool. So you take on the role of veteran survivors. These are survivors from, uh, who have either been exiled from their settlement or who are survivors of a fallen settlement that have essentially no place to call home. They've banded together in order to challenge the first hero, who is sort of the de facto boss of a settlement in order to attempt to usurp it and to sort of claim that settlement as their own. Now, the first hero, as you can tell, uh, is decked out in a variety of, you know, veritable arsenal of weaponry. And that is because the first hero is a survivor that has become so powerful that they are the only one in their settlement that needs to go out and hunt. So, whereas, you know, normally in Kingdom Death, everyone sort of, uh, everyone uh, comes together in the same death pack to, you know, come back with a quarry or, don't, or not to come back at all. The first hero is the only one that uh, hunts for their settlement. I will offer one word of warning before we begin, which is to say that this demo is fairly difficult. Uh, I would classify this as probably our most lethal demo uh, within Gen Con this year. So if you lose, do not feel discouraged, but you do not get a retry. Now, 
I guess the last thing that we need to cover as far as housekeeping is concerned before we begin the showdown is that these survivors happen to have access to the following survival actions. They can dodge, they can dash, they can surge, and they can encourage. Those are the survival actions that they happen to have access to. In addition, uh, let's say out of generosity, I am willing to give you all four survival for this endeavor. So Ooh. go ahead and write a four there on awesome. your box mark survival now. Cool. And finally, sort of as the last boon that I can offer you, uh, somewhat unprecedented for uh, our, you know, our Gen Con demos because, you know, the game's called Kingdom of Death Monster. It's all about the monster. Instead of allowing the first hero to go first, the survivals the survivors will have the first turn. Now, that stated, as a member of Team Death, I am duty bound to myself at least to willfully ignore any positive traits or characteristics that you may have that may help you survive or help you uh, damage or defeat the monster. If you have an ability that you want to use or that you want to keep track of, you are responsible for knowing that. Don't worry about anything negative. I'll make sure to let you know if you... All right. <laughs> As it should be. <laughs> should she be facing us? She's fine standing right in there. All right. Uh, she and thus, you. <laughs> <laughs> indeed. And thus, let us begin. Who would like to go first? Go ahead. Otherwise. Not me. You're going? No, no. no. Not me. Uh, I'm going first. Let's get this easy. Awesome. Get this pretty going. Uh, so I've got three movement because of my armor and my tokens. So I'm going to move three. Cool. Uh, using my obsidian <coughs> falchion, it's got cumbersome, which means I have to spend movement and an action. Correct. But I have extra movement because of my gear. Sounds to me like you can do that then. Okay. Then, what is the speed uh, of your speed weapon? Speed is two. I hit on six plus. Awesome. Uh, so, no hits. Unfortunate, unfortunate. It is. What uh, can you do? Uh, I can do nothing else. I'm done. Sounds good. Who would like to go next? Uh, I would. Let's see. I'm going to attack with the right shard, so two. Looks to me uh, like so you've hit once. Hit. All right. So, one hit location. Oh. It appears that, like any other survivor, the first hero has dodged. Um, I'm awesome. Go ahead. Uh, one hand. Fantastic. And you've hit the monster in its branded hands. I was expecting a whole deck of dodge. Yeah. <laughs> First heroes, huge fingers to develop your lantern, shattering glass with morphing metal. Archive, archive the lantern here in the attacker's ear grid if there are none. Okay, so this is on turn yeah, that's a good The kind of person yeah. that would read a reaction before rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks to me like you've rolled an eight. What is the strength of your weapon? Uh, seven. The first okay. hero's toughness in this demo is 13. Wow. So you've managed to wound wow. the monster. Oh. Let's it has go. two AI cards remaining. Nice. Oh my gosh, only two AI cards? We got it. <laughs> I don't know why they said there's a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know? uh, here we go. Here we go. Who would like to go next? Uh, I'm on, all right, I'll go. I'm going to start my turn. I'm going to lose survival because of my gear. I'm going to gain a strength token. Thank you very much. I have three left. Uh, I will go here. We're saying that's blind spot or not? That is the blind spot. Okay. I get uh, speed one. It's slow. Uh, that's going to be a miss, even in the blind spot. Awesome. <laughs> All right. All right, as it should be. Now, can I can I reach through people or not? Reach, yes. yes. Yeah, okay, so I think I'm going to move over here. You could also move here and get her from the kitty corner, but then you'd be in facing. Yeah, I'm a little scared of that. A little That's scared of so facing, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, so I'm going to move here. I'm going to attack with my rope sickle, which is speed three. Okay. Using two of your friends as meat shields, I say. We're looking for seven. <laughs> Look, I don't know what it does. So I got my, you know. Oh. Oh. Looks to me like you hit the monster twice. Or perfect hit, I mean. 
So we're, what's that? Do you have no perfect hit bonus? No. Uh, no but you do get plus so. three strength on this. I you do know, get Jason. plus three strength. Yeah. Oh, Dodge, who cares? Uh, what, okay. a, what a useless conversation we okay. just had. All right, actually, there's a first strike. So let's oh. do the first strike before we dodge our next attack. Okay, the first hero dashes away. Move the monster five spaces directly away from the attacker. Cancel all hits now out of range. Well, all right. You get to try to wound. You get to try to wound. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. All right, so I've got plus three, so I'm looking at seven here for this. No, we just crit. Oh, you have any Looks luck? Looks to me like you've wounded the monster. Uh, no luck. No deadly. One AI card remains. All right. Oh, As stated, the, life the first hero <laughs> dashes away. She runs one, two, three, four, five away from the attacker. In addition, add paint to the first hero settlement. Oh. As far as what exactly that means. That's awesome. We'll let you speculate on that. It's awesome. You hear that? <laughs> All right. All right. Has everyone gone? Yes. Yes. Would anyone like to perform survival actions at this time? This sounds like okay. a leading question. <laughs> <laughs> you can say no. 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 Can we find out? I'll do it. I'll dash. All right. Sure. Oh, I was. All right. <laughs> no, no, no. I think you should try. I mean, well, I have to surge it, right? It's not just to wait one, two, three, four, five. Or unless I don't have five movement. <clears throat> I think I have five A movement. brave soul, confronting yeah. the first hero alone. Yeah. And then I'm going to have to surge. Do you want to get in a blind spot? I, could I? Uh, one, two, three, four. I could have, yeah. All right, I will. Awesome. And I'm going to surge? Sure. All right. No, I was just I was okay. waiting for some kind of nonsense. Right. Or no, I'm actually at one. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was say, you should be at one. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yes. Bro, Mithra challenges the first hero alone. Let's see how he does. All right, bro, come on. Not, not good. Got it. Uh, good luck. Not, no. Uh, uh, it's a of unfortunate. <laughs> but that's okay, because now we get to get to my favorite part of the game, the monster's turn. Uh, I thought he was going to say killing me. <laughs> As everyone knows, at the beginning of the monster's turn, it draws one of these cards, and just it performs the card. In this case, the monster is going to perform Heroic Slam. It's going to pick a target for this threat in range. Let's look at the monster's movement. In this case, the monster's movement is eight. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the thing about meat shield, eh? <laughs> Anyways. Well, we could... There is... A collision and get knocked back, oh, I'm getting so. collision, don't worry about that. <laughs> the threat has been targeted. Yes. There is a flow. Would anyone like to perform any survival actions at this time? Uh, oh. I'm gonna dance another way. Okay. I too am going to dash. By all means. If I'm the target, can I dash oh, out of your range? Does that work? I've never done that before. Uh, you could dash so that you're further away, yes. Yeah, like. You got one oh, yeah, yeah. No, I was just reading this. I was, it says whenever you, you lose, I don't think that's spend. If I, dash I think spend and lose uh -huh. are specifically so different moving. things. She still moves, she still but she has a. Yeah, I'm going to totally dash. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to dash if you're getting out of here. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. Yeah, go for it. I, I'm still going to dash. Yeah, yeah, you'll stay uh, up. You won't get collided. Let me, let me see where you go. Well, I'm going to get... She's going to go through us. Yeah. We're going to get knocked down. We're going to get knocked back. I'm trying to plan where I should move so that I can uh, go in and get... Very good. Uh, and no one else I'm, wants I'm to dash. I'm going to dash because my movement stinks. I'm going to go one. Well, this is I'm a totally new round. It. Oh, oh, it is, yeah. Say, because it's the uh, monster. Uh, I'll, I'll be in the strength token. Very you're good. Like slow, you're like I'm very slow. If I get knocked back off. Because some of me to assume I live. Ready? <laughs> very good. The monster is going to turn around, and it's going to stride forward. Full move the monster towards the targets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now. Had the monster been adjacent, you would have suffered bash, knockback six, and gained the crushed defenses impairment. An impairment that says increase all damage suffered by one. This impairment can be gained multiple times. Oh. <laughs> Thankfully, even though the monster has strided forward and attempted to tackle you with the full force of her body, she didn't quite make it. Nice. There is a flow. Would anyone like to perform any survival actions at this time? I can't attack. I have cumbersome weapons. In that case, the monster is going to perform its basic action now, targeting the targets. The monster has three speed, and it needs fives. It also happens to have an after-hit trigger, 
that depends on perfect hits. Oh. All right. Looks to me. Three hits, though. Like three hits, two damage each. Let's let's do it. I'm sorry. Two damage each. Okay. Oh wow. I will. Oh man. No, I'm gonna get hurt. You can dodge one. I'm hurting. Yeah, do you think that's worth? I think that's worth. Otherwise, you're taking three, two damage. I think I dodge a chest. Yeah, then you don't take any answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you did get knocked down, so. It is what it is. Yep. All right, so yeah, so I'm gonna dodge one of the chests. I'm gonna take a foot, take two to the foot, take two to the chest. Awesome. But first, Hera rushes forward with a three-hit combo. She punches once. You definitely weave out of the wave, but another quickly follows into your abdomen, and finally. Onto your feet. You're knocked down from the force of the blow. There's a foot stomp. All right. Yeah, there we go. Right. I didn't know if they wanted me to spin the minis. I saw. I was waiting for them to do it before I knocked myself down from collision. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> you knew what you did. Now, you you yeah, I was waiting. Had this been a normal monster, that would be the end of the monster's turn. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, oh, the first oh. hero <laughs> happens to have a trait. The uncrowned king of arms. And what it says is, at the end of each monster turn, it will perform equip, pulling one of the many uh, pieces of the gear from its arsenal before performing basic action again. Oh, okay. Let's see what happens. In this case, the first hero is going to lead off by equipping a bone axe. As you can see, the bone axe is a piece of equipment that modifies the monster's basic action. It has changed its attack profile similarly <laughs> to how a different weapon will have a different attack profile for another survivor. In this case, the monster is going to go for the closest threat. Looks like I have two options here. Does anyone <laughs> want to volunteer to be a heroic sacrifice? Uh, I don't mind. Go for it. Okay, I will target you. <laughs> <laughs> the monster strides forward, bone axe in hand. It's going to roll three dice. You know, hit on fours, and it's also got a little bit of a bonus if it lands any perfect hits. Sounds great. In this case, it looks like the monster has hit you three times, three damage each. Oh, okay. wow. <laughs> I believe in you. Hey. That's not so bad. Oh, wow, more double, double chest. Like it's, I, I dodge, I dodge the feet. The feet? The legs. I'm dodging the legs. Uh, and then I take uh, three damage to the body. I get knocked down with that heavy wound, and then I take two severe injuries. Sounds correct. Let's do it. The monster brings its axe full force swing. You managed to clear, was it your hand that it, uh, it? It missed my legs. All right. I dodged with my legs. It goes for a low blow on you, hop, but it brings the axe flying towards your chest, cleaving out your abdomen. Let's see what happens. Right. <laughs> uh, Looks to me five. like you rolled him. I'm not dead yet. That you are not, no. You have rolled five on the body severe injury chart. That means that the monster's blow connects directly with your spine. You hear a sickening crunch. That's minus two permanent movement. That's one of these. And that is the inability to activate any weapons with two or more strength. Well, oh. Fist and tooth. <laughs> Unfortunately, you have another severe. Here we go. Oh, following through, the monster pushes with the full force of the axe. However, all it manages to do is knock you over. You're knocked down, but you don't gain any bleeding tokens. You're still alive. All right. Nice. I'm not going to tag anyone. I'm going to be blocking. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. How much strength does that shield have? Oh, I can't even block with it. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm not doing anything. However, <laughs> you have survived the onslaught, and now it is the survivor's turn. I don't believe any of you gets up because everyone was knocked down during the monster's turn. Yep. But by all means, please. Uh, Someone wants to encourage. Who would like to go first? I think you should encourage somebody up. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I'm going to spend... I'm useless. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna move. 
Well, I guess you can get there. Can you get here? I can yep. get. Okay. I can do blind spot and I can do my so, extra. <coughs> No, you would be adjacent. I'm going to attack that. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. And don't forget all the tools in your arsenal. This one is. Oh, yeah, what else you got? Deadly frail for, the, for this guy. It's, uh, that's it. Earned dagger specialist. It's something. Can avoid dodge, maybe. Uh, it, just, it just means if I attempt to fail something, attack, that's about it. Yeah. Seven, oh, there's something. Target one. Attack the monster in the muscled shoulder. See if you wound. Oh, and you do. That is the monster's last AI card. And what was the reflex? Sorry. The reaction was if you wounded with a whip, the monster flinches and drops a piece of its arsenal. Discarded equipment card in play. But you weren't attacking with a whip, so no worries on that. You managed to pierce the monster's shoulder. I'm going to just take my act real quick and lose all my survival and be done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> um, do you encourage me yeah, do, you want, do you want to try to get the last one? Uh, I can yeah. be a threat yeah. before you go. Yeah. Yeah. And I can try to be the closest threat. Yeah. I have one, I more, like it. one more survival. Oh. Uh, all right, encourage. Third. And then, why don't you go ahead? Okay, yeah, yeah, Would you yeah. like to search? Oh, yeah, I think uh, I go for the action. I want to see what they did. Kind of well, okay. I think so. Yeah. You're rolling three dice. I've only got four dice. Yeah. Yeah. And like we've almost won. There's no AI left. Right. All right. Surely there's no twist. <laughs> Surely there's no <laughs> twist. <laughs> this is not a game that does that kind of thing. No. It's a very straightforward game. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Looks to me. Well, that's enough. If you say, did you have a perfect hit thing on yours? I don't have a perfect hit, no. Oh, okay. All right. No, Okay. Unfortunately, it appears oh. that you have pulled the monster's trap. You're doomed. The monster surges. <laughs> <laughs> All survivors are doomed. Monster performs basic action, targeting the attacker. Sweet. In this case, the basic action is a bone axe, possibly to the head, possibly mm -hmm. elsewhere. The hit location, that's what tell us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can take one hit here. Thank you so much, and let's see it. Looks like oh. Oh. one miss, two miss, oh, wow. oh. one hit. There you go, pizza. By all means. Let's go. <coughs> Big money on this one. Let's see it. <laughs> Looks okay. like that's not body. Good. No, that's, that's not good. good. That's and not you're good. doomed. You just got to yep. eat it. Yep. Looks yep. like yep. possibly yep. a body severe. It's going to be bad. Yeah. It's good. Doomed, <laughs> like yeah. No, no, no. You just, no, you just, he can't, just can't do nothing. nothing. That's right. All right. So let's uh, mark. All right, it's already been marked. I got it. Yeah, he already took that hit. Awesome. Yeah. Then you're not even knocked down. We got there. Nine. Not too bad. We're good. Okay. Looks to me like the monster manages to graze you. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't connect full force like it did with your compatriots. But it does still break skin, and not only does it break skin, it sort of glides past the rib into a lung, collapsing it. You've suffered the collapsed lung, severe injury. You're going to get a bleeding token for your troubles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're also going to get a minus one movement token for your troubles. Nice. <laughs> All right. Nice. All right. That stated, at least you've survived. I, <laughs> yeah. I can't be mad. That's, you know. After the monster has surged, it will add Inner Lantern to the first hero settlement. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. oh this is super so cool. I'm, yeah. I'm going to get... Yeah. I love how the hit locations build this settlement. That's awesome. And of course, the last thing that I need is I'm going to need an intrepid soul to cut this deck so that when the trap is back on top, <laughs> truly you only have yourself to blame. No, go ahead. Okay. Um, All right, let's go trap. I'm going to take my turn <laughs> and I'm going to go one, two. Awesome. With my two movements. I am not even going to try to attack it. I'm done. Okay. Cool. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't go for facing. <laughs> In that case, everyone has gone. Yep. At this point, would anyone like to perform a survival action? So I, I would like to, but I'm out of survival. <laughs> Do you surge? I, I, well, actually, yeah, I could. You're, you're the only one. I could dash and surge. I'm only going to get four no, strings. Yeah. yeah. So, May uh, I present just a possibility? Uh, you don't have to follow it. You could dash to attack with your fist and tooth. I could, right? And make a shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
but you don't have to. <laughs> so I'm out. That's it. I'm spent. Yeah, go big or go home. I'm going to use my movement to kick, so move a space, um, attack with fist and tooth with sharp. And I do believe you have yeah, plus Monster Claw style. Monster Claw style, yep. Plus one strength. And Savage. One okay. hit. Looks like yeah. one hits. Yeah. You've hit the monster in its muscle guts. Give me one second while I grab a different color die for the purposes of sharp. Sure. Oh. So what do I need to roll here? It's just going to be high. Uh, so it has uh, 13, 13 toughness. 13. Can I win? 13. Mm-hmm. I get plus one strength. Okay. Here is your wound attempt die, and here is your sharp die. Okay. Roll them both. Let's go. High rolls. Nine, 11, 12, Looks to me like nine, just nine, not nine, enough. Nine, yeah. Close, but no cigar. And this is a wound reaction, so yeah, right. we'll just discard it. Failing to tempt. Well, Would anybody else like to perform any survival actions at this point? I have one survival. I can do the same. Yeah. Uh, uh, but you, you don't have like a move and attack off your move, do you? Yeah, I don't. Uh, it's candy corner, so I can't get it. Uh, so I think I'm just going to sit tight. Sounds good. To survive. Yeah. yeah. I suppose that means it's the monster's turn, and it only has its basic action left. So it will perform its basic action against the closest threat. Who is the closest threat in this case? I am. Well, you've got two choices, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Would anyone like to make a heroic sacrifice? <laughs> Do it, Mumford! I know, no. Well, you actually, no. Well, you want me to? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't want to. I want to. The monster will attack you. <laughs> it brings its bone axe swing. Let's go for zero. And it looks to me like it's oh. missed once. Here we go, perfect hit. It has hit once, but it has landed a perfect hit. When the monster perfect hits with the bone axe, increase the damage of the attack by one. So instead of okay. two hits for three damage, it's going to be two hits for four damage. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I will dodge one. You're right. Go down to two survival. Well, which well, one would you I like guess to we dodge? Roll first, but, uh, <laughs> I will dodge a waste. Cool. You sure you don't want to dodge a waste instead? Yeah, I'll do the other one. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'll take four. I get knocked down from that heavy wound, and I take a severe injury. Please. All right, here I go. Oh, no. oh. oh. someone's dead. And we don't even have to look. <laughs> and just like that, the monster brings his axe once again towards your midsection before you even have the time to react it bisects you clean through killing you instantly easy come easy go the blood is horrific you have perished thank you for playing kingdom death let's move on shall we uncrowned king of arms the monster is going to perform equip it's going to equip bone daggers this is going to change the monster's basic action profile. The monster is going to target the closest threat. <laughs> yeah. In this yeah. case, yeah. All right, pizza. it will hit on fives. So it's, you know, oh, looks to oh. me like the monster has hit you oh. four oh. times hey, it looks, looks for two damage. <laughs> yeah, no survival, here we go. Oh, no. Oh. oh a no. wonderful spread. Oh, jeez. Okay, so that's, that's everything. That's uh, feet, head, chest, yep. Chest, feet. Okay. We got a lot of stuff to roll here. So what would you like to roll be, for us? Let's roll the head. Let's, roll let's, get, that, let's get that one out of the way, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Whoa, well, there we go. I'm a fan let's of quick death. So let's just get the one that's most probable. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, yeah. three! Yeah. <laughs> With a flurry of stabs, the monster cuts you all over your body before lopping your head off in one clean motion. You've been decapitated. You have died. Thank you so much for flanking them back. With a bone dagger, that's wow. gotta hurt. And you know what? With that, the monster's turn is over. I oh, believe. I finally stand. Yeah. You stand. <laughs> all right, guys, you can do it. Yeah. Um, 
I don't. I can't even do anything. Okay. I, I can't go into negative survival. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm coming. Let's go. Maybe. <laughs> hmm. You are here or here? I was here. One, two. Th oh, I moved one space too far, right? Yeah. Okay. So if you were here, one, two, three, four, five. No words. Either way, I'm not doing anything. Yeah, we're gonna try. We're gonna go. go for it. <clears throat> Oh, That's pretty good. Oh. That's two perfect hits. <laughs> Anything on perfect hits? Uh, oh, dagger okay. sometimes. Uh, okay. 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 Here we go. So one of them dodged. That's okay. Well, which hit location would you like to attack first? Uh, <laughs> the dodge? You're going to attack the dodge? Yeah. Okay. Had I been in your position, I probably would have... Um, Aim for this hit location. Uh, yeah. Then, had I failed, used um, use, other, right. use your specialization yeah. to discard dodge in order to attempt to yeah. again. it again. Okay. That's stated. Yeah, yeah. I, chose, I made the choice. So, <laughs> um, well, not necessarily dodge. Yeah. So let's just go for it. Yes. Yeah. You attack the monster in spread in hands. <laughs> the first hero's huge fingers envelop your lantern, shattering glass and warping metal. Archival lantern gear in the attacker's gear grid. Oh. If there are none, the attacker must prevail, spending all of your survival at least one, or gain three minus one accuracy tokens. So I can't spend that survival? You can, yes. Yeah. Okay. Add lantern oven to the first hero settlement. Oh, nice. Even on a failure, yeah. yeah nice, good. nice, yeah. Fantastic. Would anybody else like to go? I can't do anything. <laughs> all right. Sounds to me like it's the monster's turn. Yep. And it's going to perform its basic action. And it's going to attack with its daggers. Once again, we're looking for fives. Okay. Looks to me like we found some. For two damage each. Looks good. You got a two damage. Oh, two damage, you're yeah, fine. Yeah, I'm good. So awesome. I'll just take all of it, so. Fantastic. Is there, are there any heavies? Heavies. No, Heavy he's, got, he's got four everywhere, it looks like. Yeah. Except well, for we didn't one. You do armor, though. Right. You do not begin yeah. with armor. Oh, you do not begin with armor. Yeah. Okay. I got your bot, though, yeah. So it looks like you got some heavies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got, you got three heavies. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, but you don't need to roll, right? Yeah, yeah. You're good. Yeah. No, Everything's no rolling. Fine. Everything's just fine. Just get knocked down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, now you don't have to move anymore. Yeah, yeah I can. Because yeah. she's just going to come to you. Yep. Yeah. And finally. Uncrowned King of Arms. The monster is going to equip a Zahn battle. Oh, great. <laughs> the attack profile has changed. Oh my and in gosh, this case, it's AOE. <laughs> it happens to be a synchronic attack. For now, the monster is going to move, taking care to step on you on the way through. It's going to attack with two dice. We're looking for threes. And we found. Uh, so I get two hits? Two hits, five damage each. Oh, five damage each. That's a heavy. It's okay. <laughs> uh, I need a body. Oh, no. I think that's two bleed, right? That's disembowel. I think I'm body. Body. Yeah. The monster swings the mighty Zahn battle. <laughs> and the effects are devastating. Blood Womp. everywhere. <laughs> and death. Thank you for playing Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I was fun laying down. I'd rather go back to that. <laughs> so, you're not getting up. Nope. Uh, yeah, I, I was knocked down during this. The yeah, during this. So, are you getting up? Uh, so, I am getting up. Yeah, yeah. That was I'm getting up. Yeah. So, yeah. You got this. Okay. Yeah. So Can you do it? Yeah. <laughs> See what I mean by this demo is the yeah. most difficult demo at this Gen Con? Oh, I got a hit. Awesome. Nice. Sometimes three oh, AI cards are just enough. You attack the monster and it's super dense. Super dense. Oh no! Phoenix gauntlets. <laughs> uh, so you get, you get the wound. Yeah. yeah, you get Afterwards. the wound, but it has plus four toughness to wound this location, just like how many armor points. So Phoenix gauntlets. A true latch ditch upper with your frail. <laughs> so seven up. I, I don't know what all your stats are. Doesn't matter. It's a little bit cocked. <laughs> Roll that again. It was in between oh, a one and a seven. Cocked. To be fair. 
Okay. How fortuitous. <laughs> eight. Okay. Okay. Does that do it? Seven strength. So eight, yeah, that doesn't. Thirteen. That tough just to doesn't do it, unfortunately. Oh. Well, 13. Seven, seven and eight, right? Seven. Yes, seven and eight, 15. so you have 15 oh, strength. Yeah. And it has yeah. plus four yes, toughness. Oh, plus 13 four. 13 plus four would yeah, be 17. Yeah, yeah. 17. Oh, okay, yeah. And just like that, my heart. Yeah. failure. Yeah. The first hero swats your blow away with his groove gauntlets. Perform basic action, target the attacker. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. With one gauntlet parrying and the other bring a mighty blade down. The monster swings oh, God. <laughs> and it lands a perfect hit. As a result, this attack is going to knock you back six spaces and cause bash. Oh, there we go. Five damage to your head. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's a subtle head blow. It's with a Zimbato. It's good. Okay. Eight. Oh, okay. I think that's only one bleed. That's not bad. The severe injury that you have suffered is well, a concussion. Wrong one. And the second one? Five. Unfortunately, I believe that is a destroyed back, and that would be your second bleeding token of this attack making you, uh, I believe you perish the blood loss. And with that, with one final cleaving blow, the first hero swings its great Zan bottle. And it cuts through your back, it cuts through your head, and that is the last of the veteran survivors. Thank you so much for playing Kingdom Death. Yep. I hope you enjoy this demo. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you that was fun, much. thank you. As always, you are free to keep these pencils as commemorative souvenirs. Thank you so much, Matt. Of yep, course. Thank you. Very well done. Thank You're you. welcome. Yeah. Very well done. And it seems like we won't know what happens from Orator of Death after all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, we tried. Right. It was a valiant effort. It was. It was real close, actually.